to meet the ambitions of the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol, UNIDO brought together key stakeholders for a two-day expert group meeting to help countries find practical solutions for phasing down hydrofluorocarbons HFCs, and put Kigali into action. The Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol is on the phase down production and consumption of HFCs. HFCs are potent greenhouse gases. Phasing them down helps reduce climate change while protecting the ozone layer. The achievement of the Kigali Amendment is basically to avoid uh, 80 billion tons of CO2 equivalents by uh, 2050. But many actions are needed for both the ratification and the implementation of the Kigali Amendment. Countries need to set policies, select technologies and build capacities to make it work. UNIDO can assist in this process. UNIDO is a specialized agency of the UN system that is dedicated to the promotion of inclusive and sustainable industrial development. And that is within this domain that uh, we have the work that we do on the Montreal Protocol because it is a matter of reducing the emissions of ozone depleting substances. UNIDO's enabling activity projects help prepare countries for the ratification and early implementation of the Kigali Amendment by employing a holistic approach to tackling ozone-depleting substance phase-out, which has been mainstreamed and replicated in over 70 countries over the last 30 years. In this process, UNIDO provides strategic advice for the development of legislative frameworks and supports to select technologies which are both safe and reliable. UNIDO also provides technical assistance to calculate capital and life cycle costs, capacity building for staff and energy efficiency projects, and supports in mitigating environmental impacts. UNIDO has uh, supported in the ratification of uh, the Gala Amendment. Of course, you need to put up uh, some structures, and licensing is one of those things that if you want to phase down a particular chemical, uh, HFCs, for instance, you need uh, a system in place that will guide you in, with your stakeholders to come up with uh, a phase-down schedule as expected of each country. We really required the support of UNIDO and it came in just timely. And through this support, we managed to analyze the national legislation to identify the gaps and the amendments that have to take place. The two-day expert group meeting provided a platform to share country experiences, best practices and lessons learned and help participants connect with solutions for successful planning and implementation. We just completed a two-day event with participation from 28 countries, so-called national ozone officers, where we discussed issues in relation to the Kigali Amendment. The expectation were, of course, to improve my knowledge and to gain some more ideas how to streamline uh, ratification and implementation of Kigali Amendment in my country, Bosnia and Herzegovina. The event proved successful by demonstrating that by working together one can find innovative solutions to put the Kigali Amendment into action.